famous panniers for my motorcycle. They're made by Nasbags. Uh, their website is in the link. I'll put that down below. Uh, so let's have a look what's in the bag. Okay, so we've got both sides of the panniers. Uh, the Nasbags canvas uh, has, has the detail here. It's a gear cog, which is quite nice. Uh, it's got the Molly straps, which is the modular lightweight load carrying equipment straps. They're featured in quite a lot of military applications. Uh, they're on the, both the front and the back. We've got some uh, tie down points in each corner and one central and our hook and loop or velcro tape that goes over the seat. So I've got some uh, canvas care instructions in here, my invoice, a NASBAG sticker, a NASBAG's business card. And I've got some uh, long reusable zip ties. Got two short reusable zip ties and Nosebags actually does make uh, some bungee cords uh, to go with these style panniers if you want extended reach or you want a different type of configuration uh, you can also use velcro or your own uh, bungee cord setup if you want uh, uh, these actually were an additional price um, these are the uh, pannier stays and they go on either side of your motorcycle at the rear and they bolt onto the uh, the luggage rail and in my case I've got the Harley uh, detachable luggage rail and they'll go onto one of those bolts and they'll stop the panniers from uh, kicking in on my wheel so let's just have a look through one of the panniers so it's, they've got a clip front we open the lid, it's got a roll top, it's got some velcro. That's reinforced with a, a plastic uh, rod there for um, stability. It's, uh, it's quite a large size inside. Uh, the panniers then will uh, close up with the velcro again, roll top, and clip closure. The uh, two panniers will actually uh, be velcroed together using this hook and loop tape and they'll be uh, configured in a throw over configuration like so. Okay, now we'll go for a bit of installation. You know, I'm just going to do a fitment video of the Nasbags panniers now. So as you can see I've set up the canvas pannier straps here and I've also fitted the canvas pannier stays. Uh, these can fit onto any bike, they just go onto this uh, rear luggage rail and um, my advice is to get a new uh, stainless steel bolt for this and uh, I've also got the Harley uh, detachable luggage mounts on here as well so I can put my sissy bar on and increase my luggage carrying capacity. So now I'll just go through a quick fitment. Installed, not quite. I'm actually going to remove this uh, rear seat bolt. And just slide the front strap underneath it so that it doesn't fly up on the front end. And on the back of the panniers, I'm actually just going to put a bit of Velcro through one of the lower rings to the panier stay just to keep the load stable. So as you can see it's now supported from the front supported on the rear. We talk about the type of luggage that I want to actually be carrying in my bag. So one of the problems that I had was when I'd pull up in uh, Brisbane, you can see the weather's quite quite good. This is the middle of winter and it's about 25 degrees at the moment. And I need to be able to store my motorcycle jacket. I'll just show you um, the storage capacity of this bag. So 
So here's my Harley jacket. It's got the Velcro closure at the top. Just roll down, scrunch out the air. So one of the other things I need to carry is my boots. So on the other side I'm just going to drop in a pair of size 10 work boots to show you the size there. So as you can see, the final fitment of the penny bags, it's got rear clearance over the shocks by this pannier stay. It's clearance here. I haven't had to, re to move or relocate the rear indicator assembly. And this fabric's actually quite soft and I think on the longer rides I'll have fit a, a, a luggage rack here for it to sit on top of so it's not rubbing on the fender. So that concludes my review of the NASBAG's canvas panniers. If you've got any uh, queries you can just start and click on the link below and there's an email you can email NAS herself and ask any further questions. Thanks for watching.